वेलकम डियर चिल्ड्रेन जियोग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स लेसन नंबर एट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस पार्ट टू लेटिट्यूडनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन रिफर फिगर एट पॉइंट सिक्सटीन पेज नंबर फोर्टी एट ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक now we obtain products like wood rubber resin fruits medicinal plants etc from forests if we consider the region from the equator to the poles as per the temperature zones we find the following types of natural vegetation this table shows the latitudinal distribution of natural vegetation equatorial evergreen deciduous tropical grasslands thorny scrubs temperate grasslands mixed forests broad leaved coniferous and tundra all these are the different natural regions many animals make these forests their habitat means they live in these forest animals who prey on the plant eating animals also live in the forest thus many food chains develop in the forests forests or grasslands are the habitats for many animals it is basically due to plants that we have got animals as a natural resource plants also grow in water it is very likely that in future we shall have to depend on aquatic plants for fulfilling the needs of the growing human population mineral wealth we get different metals and chemicals from the minerals some chemicals are used in preparing different medicines minerals are generally classified as metallic and non metallic minerals metallic minerals are used for obtaining different metals such as iron bauxite etc and non metallic minerals are used in obtaining various chemicals like gypsum rock salt calcite etc characteristics of natural resources depending on the characteristics like physiography soil climate minerals and availability of water in different regions of the world land is used for various purposes the proportion of land on earth is 29.20% this means that land is also a natural resource living things that are born on land grow live and die on land itself land is an invaluable resource depending on the characteristics of land and climate various living things are found on the land in different proportions the distribution of these living organisms including humans is not uniform all living things try to adapt to the various geographical conditions like a rocky terrain steep slopes flat plains mountainous regions forest covered areas river basins etc man alone attempts to make changes in the prevailing conditions to suit his needs judicious use of natural resources means we have to use 
whatever natural resources we are getting wisely we don't have to waste these natural resources every living thing makes use of natural resources according to its need however man started using many of these resources for himself alone with the help of his intellectual power later the increase in population and the greed of humans led to exploitative use of resources this began to upset the balance in nature this means that it is necessary that man also must use the natural resources according to his needs and in a judicious manner always remember man has to depend on nature for many things whatever the extent of his progress nature is not for man alone it belongs to other living things too therefore we should always use natural resources judiciously thank you